Ooh, little update, end of the 12th, and we've managed to pull back some forces in case blue, good aims, blue, blitzkrieg, November 12th, end of turn, updatey thingy. We've pulled our forces out of there and tried to re, uh, restructure a line here uh, a little bit. And uh, similarly across this section here, we've tried to get uh, back in front of those five divisions that bust through uh, this turn. I have two tree bark left for Bryansk. After that, we'll start rolling for attrition. Down here, uh, there I had a look and there's really nowhere where I can make an attack or attacks that is going to either A, cut off the German supply at the uh, bridgehead here or alleviate my rail situation. They have just got guys piled in there, literally too deep. And uh, so I elected to start pulling out the NKVD units and anything that was armored that had an action rating of three, trying to pull those guys out and also maintain a little bridgehead here to get out. So I threw some uh, ski battalions in the way to try and uh, absorb uh, movement or whatever the case may be, or force an attack and, uh, and make the Germans use SP if they want to encircle. So they're going to have to attack all those guys to get through, which is fine if they do, that's great. But I've got most of the valuable units out of there. The way I'm rolling for replacements though, I'm kind of concerned because I'm just not getting uh, the volume of units back that I need to keep throwing into the hopper to be, or the grinder I should say, to be uh, chewed up by the German attrition creation machine. <clears throat> For the south, we've got uh, no change down there really, we've just reconfigured our defenses there a little bit. I've started uh, doubling up on the hedgehogs in Rostov and we'll start building more across uh, that section there in a little while. I popped uh, 5 SP down into there this turn, it's time to add more to that area here. I think one of the things I have done is perhaps gone a little hedgehog crazy. Uh, maybe I haven't, maybe I haven't done enough, I, I don't know. But uh, I'm causing myself problems having these little pockets of units everywhere. Uh, <clears throat> they just invite the Germans to come and try and surround them, they're going to move back and I build a hedgehog there and then I don't use it because I run away. So it's become uh, somewhat of an annoyance more than anything. End of the 12th, we're going to go roll for weather, uh, or I should say initiative and then weather and then air, and then we'll see who, uh, who takes the turn. I think uh, the Germans would like to not let the Soviets have initiative if they win it. They will want to have their turn. And the Soviets will most definitely want to keep uh, the initiative if they win, so they can pull, uh, continue to extract forces out of uh, difficult situations. One of the concerns the Soviets also have is if, uh, if the Germans uh, reorient their advance here and start coming this way, they're in a really big pickle. There's maybe six or seven divisions between them and, I don't know, China. <laughs> so, uh, whereas here, you know, it's a different story. There's a, there's a fair whack of guys and, uh, you know, this could take three or four turns to get through. And then you've got two layers of defense here and that's another five or six turns, which maybe even eight turns, depending on how the weather goes and how bad the freeze attrition is, that would make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, and there's the cat. Maybe uh, the middle of December before uh, there was any chance of Moscow even looking like falling. And even if Moscow was about to fall, Sevastopol has to fall as well in this, this calendar year for it to be a, an outright German win and the game is over. And there's no way that's gonna happen, I don't think. Uh, there's only, there's just not enough forces down in the Sevastopol region. Uh, really have played the Germans with the view that we're not going to get Moscow this, this year or at all, and that we're gearing up to try and uh, uh, press into the Urals, uh, the Caucasus, uh, not the Urals, the Caucasus, uh, this uh, in 42. All right, anyway, I'm distracted because the cat is uh, looking anxiously at, at my port. I've got to go by.